Hello friends, welcome to YouTube Expo channel. In this class, we will be going to learn about how to use multi-level heading list. This is the second part of how to use styles, titles, headings. And further, in this class, we will be going to learn about how we can add any number of multiple headings from initially just with a click of button. Most of the time, what happens? You have to suffer or depend on someone else to do MS Word drafting for you in order to add headings, subheadings with sequence and figure number as well. So we'll be going to do this by ourselves by learning and sharing with your friends and family as well. So it can save a lot of time and energy as well. For instance, friends over here. In this first example, the section one has three subsection, and similarly, the other subheadings do have subheadings. So what we have to do is, here they are right now in a single alignment. So we'll do a little bit spacing here by selecting this. We just click on tab button, and similarly, we'll do this for section two and section 3 as well as section 4 so now friends you don't have to do anything else you just click in front of section 1 and you can see here in the home tab multi-level list the pop-up has come up so we will select from section 1 to section 4 and then in the home tab you can see multi-level list and then you can see here the heading formats has been provided so I click on this one and you can see how easily you get your section multi-level list and each section has been dis displayed in A, B, C and D whereas the subsection has been displayed in romantic figures so now we'll move to section Example 2 here you can see that all section has been displayed in single alignment so we select them and then we click on this option being available and you can see that here it has given each and every section plus subsection A, B, C depending on the selection we have made so we don't have to worry about here so we just click in front of section 1.1 and tab so this will change the subsection multi-level list from single list so that's why I show you two scenarios here in one scenario the information has all been already been with tab button and in another scenario the information being displayed in single alignment and we have to do manually a little bit of work by pressing the tab button but friends what happens when you have your paragraphs in your word file so let's do that example in real as well so you will be easily understand in actual when you have got some paragraphs in between your heading and subheadings how you can work out so I clicked over here in front of introduction friend this will works only when you have done the styles here mentioned in the home tab heading subheading title whatsoever if you have done this only this function will uh, will be working over there in both cases so I click in front of introduction now I clicked here in multi-level list heading this option and then clicked here and you can see the introduction has go to many one then the section a b c has been divided into a b c subheadings similarly paragraph has been divided into romantic two paragraph and section one under the paragraph but friends you see the alignment has been a bit disappointed over here so what you can do is you have to click select this one introduction 
and you can see in the left indent here the mouse cursor just bring it over this side and then you have to go to heading one because it's a heading one right click update heading one to match selection so you can see now the paragraph has moved from right to left and similarly we do this for section ABC subheading as well now I go to heading 2 my pointers should be at section A in front and then right click then update so you can see the subheadings in introduction as well as in paragraph has been moved from right to left that's all friends you can easily add multi-level list headings in your paragraphs where you have to prepare a lot of documents reason being this is very handy for you because you don't have to visit on each and every paragraph and making adjustment over there by filling up or giving numbering romantic whatsoever another thing is friend if you click back on multi-level list you can see here define new multi-level list or define new style or you wanted to change the style so I click on define new multi-level list and here you can see on the left side 1 to 9 these are the styles which has been represented here on the right side heading if I click on 1 the 1 is being a bit, bit of highlighted if I click on 2 the 2 is bit of highlighted here so you can select the heading style here as well as the font you can change here any kind of font you would like to have and its size too and then you can change the font color underline style underline color whatsoever and then click on ok and here also you can change the number style as well from 1 to 3 romantic lowercase romantic uppercase abc and lowercase abc similarly you can select here any number of these now for instance for style 2 heading 2 we have selected abc which is already been done so we'll go for smaller abc and click on ok and you can see here a change has been made but for the time being we do control z because I have to make you show about one more thing interesting you select this introduction you go to automatic where you have to change the font color and you wanted to make it red now you wanted to change the heading of other paragraphs as well so you go back to heading one in home tab in styles right click update heading this will change the paragraph color as well and you can see the rest of the subheadings has similar color which was earlier being displayed friends i hope you might like my video please like and share explore youtube channel